Hi everyone, I'm Andrea Hood, and today I'm going to teach you how to make guacamole, one of my favorite things to make. I love guacamole. So first, to ease up on cutting time, I use my Vitamix because I just think it's easier. And I can cut things up and it works out really nicely for me. So I'm going to take my onion, I just got a small onion, and I'm going to take it, cut off the ends and cut off the skin. So I just use a small sweet onion that I picked up at the farmer's market because I love to eat local foods and support my local farmers. So I just cut it into like quarters like that. And then I have, um, I'd say just about a cup of some grape and cherry tomatoes that I got from my friend's garden. So I'm gonna add those in. That's it, that's all I'm gonna put in my Vitamix. So I just do this because it eases, it makes the chopping time a little bit less. I put it up to speed like four and then I pulsate it. You can also do the same thing in a food processor. So then I'm just gonna put it in my bowl. The onions are a little bit big so I probably could have processed this a little bit more, but it's fine. I don't mind big chunks of onions. I know a lot of people don't like it, but it doesn't bother me. I really enjoy onions. So the next I have um, three small garlic cloves that I'm going to also use. I find that when I put them in the Vitamix, they, don't always get chopped up as small as I'd like them to, to be, so, and then I don't want a big chunk of garlic. Having a big chunk of onion is one thing, but garlic, hmm, not so much. So I pick these up at the farmer's market as well, and I smash on them using a knife that I learned from Rachel Ray <laughs> to take off the skin. It makes it a little bit easier. So then I'm gonna dice up the garlic really, really small. So garlic is so great for helping you fight off colds and flus. It's a really big immune booster. Plus it adds so much flavor to any dish. I use garlic a lot. A lot of people aren't huge fans of the flavor, but me, I love garlic and I love to eat a lot of it. So during the fall, winter, and spring, I'm putting it on almost everything. Not as much in the summer, just because everything's so flavorful in season anyway, but um, during the off season, I use a lot of garlic. Put that in my bowl. So next, the avocados. I love avocados. So when you're searching for avocados, you want them to be not too firm, not too soft either. That's how you know when they're ripe. If you get them when they're too firm, you can put them on a windowsill or put them in the sun so you can ripen up the avocados and that helps ripen them up quicker. So in order to open an avocado, what I do is I take it, I cut it in half, so it looks like this. One side you'll have the pit, the other side you will not. You scoop out the avocado flesh. And a lot of times I eat a half an avocado with my um, eggs in the morning for breakfast. And so what I'll do is I'll save the other half with the pit in it because it helps prevent from browning. Um, but right now I'm actually going to use the pit to uh, help from browning in the guacamole. So avocados are great guys. They're so, so good for you. They have a healthy dose of omega-3 fatty acids. And what that, what omega-3 fatty acids do is they're, they're really good for brain development and growth. And they're also good for healthy hair, skin, nails. Um, the fatty acids found in, in avocados are really, really good for that. They're really rich and they're, plus they taste super good. I love avocados. So now I just take a potato masher and I'm just mashing up the avocados with the garlic, with the tomatoes. Now, a lot of times people add in hot peppers. You could do that too. I'm going to put a couple dashes of cayenne pepper because I like the way that tastes. Some people don't add any heat at all and that's totally fine too. It's up to you. So this is really easy to make and it's a really like health, it's a really good healthy dish that you can serve. You can either put it on things like I've put it on burgers before, you know, chicken, you can put it, um, you can, or use it as a dip with some chips or vegetables. I love these blue chips. There are non-GMO, organic, gluten-free blue corn chips that are great. And also baby carrots, baby organic carrots are also really good for that. Another thing I'm gonna add to my guacamole, you can also add, you could add fresh lime juice, but I add a couple drops of my lime essential oil. Just like three. Oh, eh, that got a little fast there at the end. Didn't mean to do that. That also helps prevent from browning. 
and helps reduce the oxidation in the, which is the browning effect in the avocados. So do that, mix it up a little bit. Add a pinch of pink Himalayan sea salts, pinch of black pepper. I just eyeball these things, guys. I just do a dash. And I'm just gonna add like two dashes of cayenne pepper. Just because I like it to have a little bit of heat, but not overpoweringly so. That's it, there you have it. It's best to eat it right away, but you can store it in the fridge for, I'd say up to 24 hours. It might get a little bit brown, but having the pit and the lime essential oil will help prevent browning. Um, but that's how I like, I like to eat mine right away. It usually doesn't last very long. For more videos and healthy living tips, as well as recipes, you can find me on my website, andreahood.com, and I'll see you there. Thanks.